Hello everybody! Gorgeous day! And I'm sitting here and what I was thinking actually is to go out, put my face to the sun and meditate with you. But it's really windy. <laughs> it's blowing like it's no tomorrow. So uh, that wouldn't be too good. Would be very loud, which is okay with me, but also it's cold, chilly, still April. So I decided to say a couple words about something else that is lately on my mind. prison. Who goes to prison? Somebody who is found guilty of some kind of a crime. And how many people, how many of you ever think what's next? Now, what do you mean, Grace, what's next? Next is they sitting for 10, 20, 30 years or more, trying to get out. Finally, hopefully they do. And their life goes on. And I say, really? Let's think about this for a second. If we want to put anybody in a cage, which I'm totally against it, I'm even against putting birds or animals in a cage. Everybody deserves to be free. Yeah, but he is a killer, he is um, a thief or whatever. Okay. It's fine. So then that person goes to a prison. You see, my concern is, what do we do with that person in a prison? And maybe somebody can enlighten me. I would love that to hear in a comment area. Because if we just lock somebody up, like an animal, and let that person sit there, eat, drink, take a shower, maybe go watch TV somewhere, I don't know what they do, or it's a little place, um, and I guess I watch this in the movies, <laughs> so that's how I know how this looks like. But if they don't learn spiritually, emotionally, mentally, what they did wrong, meaning how to build the character, how to get the right perspective of the damage being done, of other people either losing a person or something because of them. So building the moral values. Instead, probably in many cases, learning how to be smarter and more sneaky, how to do the job better next time. Because obviously when they are in prison, they got caught. Wow, they fail to do the job. So how to be even better the next time? So they come out. They didn't learn anything good. They didn't get most likely um, more skills. 
And now, after sitting, let's say, 20 years, they don't know how to live their life in a freedom. So what do they do? Repeat exactly the same thing, because that's all they know. And they already comfortable sitting in a prison and everything is given to them. That's their life. They already got used to it. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I think we should work on teaching people about love and compassion, integrity, especially when they will go to a prison. Do we? Maybe it's something that I don't know about, so I pl please feel free to um, make me aware of some things because maybe I'm, maybe I don't know. But that's what lately was uh, on my mind. Something that was bothering me about this whole prison system. Cages, locking up. I cannot stand even an animal and I don't care what it is to be locked up. I can't even take the bird Oh, for our pleasure, the bird is in a cage, and I love to watch them. Oh, why don't let you let the bird go, and you lock yourself up in a cage, and let's see how you're going to like it. You see where I'm coming from? Freedom, to me, is very important. And when people have a free choice, freedom, then they feel love. But once you, in any way, shape, or form, enslaved, locked up, when you take away freedom from someone, hmm, it's no so much of love and compassion because you feel hurt. Okay, that's enough for today. Kisses, hugs, and until next time.